After Russia's full-scale invasion, would you say that Poland's response was quick enough? I would say that Poland's role uh, was um, pivotal. Um, I, I remember very vividly that literally immediately on the day of the invasion on the February 24th, the, the Polish government approved a package of financial aid to Ukraine and without even wait, waiting for other countries, without coordinating uh, any, any positions with them. So in fact, Poland was one of the few countries that were the driver uh, of aid to Ukraine. And uh, not only financial, not only humanitarian, but also the military one. And uh, the fact that the Poles have never considered themselves to be in the, um, how to say, you know, there is a term like uh, Putin first air uh, camp. Uh, yeah. uh, the fact that Poles were never in this camp of the, of the Putin first airs camp, um, uh, countries like Poland, like Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia were almost the only ones who realized it's a danger. Um, of Russia even before the world's uh, leading intelligence agencies started talking about it. So um, I, I perfectly remember um, this, this first days um, and this was a very comforting feeling knowing that uh, you, you, you got our back and uh, not just our back but our front because you were sending um, uh, military aid to the front and uh, getting uh, our people on the border. Why do you think that Poland was so quick to react? Poland and the Baltics, uh, they, they, they have repeatedly fallen victim of the Russian imperial policy and uh, time have passed, regimes have changed, uh, capitals of Russia have changed, uh, but the essence of Russia has not. And this is why uh, people of Poland, they just realize what an existential threat Russia is, not just for Ukraine, but for, for the whole region. And uh, this is why, in my opinion, Poland was very objective in its expectations on Russians' actions. And, uh, that's why Poland supported Ukraine before anyone else. Poland quickly built temporary housing facilities for Ukrainians in destroyed cities such as Bucha and Irpin. Was the initial help important for Ukraine? Let me tell you this, during the first couple of ma months, like every single uh, help was absolutely critical. Because um, in a way it was a humanitarian catastrophe, it was a, logistic, a logistical catastrophe, uh, um, and uh, basically what Poland did in terms of sending those containers uh, and then establishing, ramping up um, a shelter for the people who have lost everything just a couple of days ago. Uh, this was life-saving um, for them in the first place because this has bought the government and the regional administration some time to take care of them and to arrange further uh, reallocate, um, further transport of those people to some other regions uh, or to some other countries. So um, this has literally provided them with, with a shelter where they, um, they, they could um, survive. Polish state-controlled energy companies sent fuels and other types of aid to Ukraine. Did it help Ukraine in its war effort? I mean, even today, um, Orlan is playing an incredible role on on the Ukrainian um, on the Ukrainian energy market. And uh, um, right now, I mean, in the first day, it was um, critical in terms of providing um, storages of fuel, in terms of providing um, options and opportunities for for the Ukrainian state-owned uh, energy companies uh, to to keep. The, the, the fuel in at, at the rate that was required. But even today, um, Orlan is, is launching, for instance, um, uh, an initiative on, on a free uh, humanitarian aid transfer for Ukrainians uh, through their um, own facilities in Poland. And, um, uh, I think that this is an incredible act of solidarity uh, that it, it is, is, being, uh, uh, is being effectuated even now. So. Uh, we can see that this, this assistance and this help and this cooperation is very consistent. It's not just about the first days. This is something that is lasting for already almost two years, and uh, we're incredibly thankful for that. Poland sent anti-flooding equipment to Ukraine after Russia blew up the Kakovka Dam. Previously, Poland sent teams to demine the Kherson region. Was this noticed by the locals? The next morning, after the Russians blew up the Kakovka Dam, um, I was in Kherson. Um, I, I rallied up. Um, some, some friends of mine, some colleagues of mine with some volunteers and uh, we had a, a rather big convoy with uh, different humanitarian aid, with water, uh, with uh, water boots, uh, with uh, floating mattresses and, and boats. Um, and we arrived to Kherson. Um, it was a nightmare. 
Uh, and uh, so we are there in a cafe that is still open and it's called Churchill, uh, which was very symbolic, you know, probably one of the few uh, cafes that were open uh, that first day after they blew up the dam. It was called Churchill and guess whom do I meet there? I meet a couple of Poles. And uh, it was an incredible meeting, <laughs> given the circumstances. So um, it, it was it, it was really hard not to um, not to notice the presence of Poland in in Kherson and in the Kherson region because you could physically see and hear um, the Poles speaking, assisting, helping. Um, and um, even today, you go to the to the front lines, you can still hear uh, some uh, Polish language being spoken among the soldiers.